This is part two, and then the second part, I'd like to talk to you about a, a startup that I talked to today, and um, they do some geolocation service. That's not actually the thing. The, the interesting thing is that they are now 20 people, and for them, culture and leadership starts to become issues and challenges. And one of the co-founders actually asked me, hey, Armin, what is your favorite culture? I well, said, so that is a good question. I um, actually answered it like this. If everybody in your company already, you know, does what he or she says, does what he or she says, and feels what he or she does, then you already have the basis for a very good culture because that is what you call integrity. You do what you say and authenticity, which is you feel what you do. So that is something very important. But um, there, is an, there was another uh, topic that he talked to me about, which was about leadership style in general. And uh, with all these discussions, you know, about new generations and the generation Y and the generation Z, the millennials and all the rest of it, um, there was actually a thing uh, where you could say, uh, well, uh, do we not need to change this leadership altogether? Do we not all participate in the decision making? Do we not all have to agree in that kind of stuff? Now, I would clearly say no. Yes, participation, yes. Um, uh, certain things, certain participations, I'd also like to um, talk a little bit about, about what kind of participations I'm talking about um, and in, in which decisions who has to participate. But yes, participation is good. Um, uh, this guy told me that uh, uh, their culture was open, constructive and honest, which is very good. So you can have conversations about decision making and it has to be clear that at the end, the leader, the manager has the last word. That is extremely important for uh, expectation management and also to have a very, very clear uh, approach to this whole thing. Secondly, um, uh, he, he, that is also something that the guy then asked me, he said, well, um, you know, uh, what's happening then if uh, some ideas of some team members are not being uh, realized? And here my answer is, you know, what you actually have to do is uh, you have to make it clear at the very beginning, as I said, expectation management, that uh, you have, as a leader, you have the last word. And secondly, always explain why certain decisions have been made. That is extremely important because the uh, situation for you, you could maybe put yourself into this situation too, the situation of not being clear about what why a decision has been made can be very, very frustrating. So it's much, much easier to live with a decision being made, which is maybe not in line with what you would have decided, but you have to understand why. So that much about culture, maybe three things. First of all, um, make sure that you do what you say. And then uh, when you always do what you say, you will also feel what you do. So you've got integrity and authenticity. Make sure that the leaders at the end of the day have the responsibility and the last word. And number three, explain why certain decisions have been made because they might not be in line with what the others want to hear or want to do. We also talked a little bit about values and I've got a specific video here about how to establish a value system. So have a look at the uh, end. So if you don't want to miss any of my tips, tricks and tools for leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, become one of the new entrepreneurial leaders. I'd love to help you. If you'd like to have a free uh, strategic session with me on a specific um, challenge that you might have, feel free to apply for it by clicking on the link underneath this video. This is Armin Rao from Elan and Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and don't forget, lead yourself.